Okay, let's give this guy a test. This is my special uh, radio sound testing room that I've designed and occasionally we do laundry in there too. I'll switch to the microphone you see in the picture there in front of the radio. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with, uh, actually all we're going to try is AM radio. We're using this antenna here. Well, it, it's the next day now. I've had a chance to lick my wounds and think about what was happening with that radio. So I, I didn't really say anything, but you must have heard the pops. Those pops were very scary to hear live in front of the radio. They sounded like some very significant short circuit. In the video, uh, it's quite apparent the first pop includes a deadening of the radio with a hum. It goes away within a fraction of a second, and I missed it. Well, then I listen to the radio kind of playing and popping. The last pop is replaced by a, by a hum. Now that scared me. Okay, that's why I kind of run over and pull the plug and then stand there looking at it thinking, oh my gosh, all this time and this is what I got. But that's okay. I've, uh, like anybody, I've licked my wounds, I feel a little better, and I'm ready to go at that uh, chassis there. Okay, so this is the 5Y4 from the radio, and I suspect this is what's failing. So first thing I want to check is, is that. So I've got the filament on 5. 0030P, 0030P, 0760, 0760, 25E, rectifiers and diodes. Note F means short on one setting. The short test. Here we go. I'm going to put that in there. Now, wow, a little scary putting this on even in my tube tester, but uh, there we go. Oop, no power to the tube tester yet. Let's try that. Now, if something starts happening in this tube right away, we'll, we'll see the, a little bit of a flicker in this light. And I can even see things come out of the tube. So far, so good. Don't see anything funny. There we go on the short test. The nail goes flying over, but that's normal for this. Too. That's what the uh, note on here indicates. So, I'm kind of think again, if the tube was shorting out inside or something, maybe one of these settings would show it. That's an intermittent thing. Although when I did play the radio, the radio started making sound right away. To test for a uh, rectifier should be above this line. Should be, should be above where my finger is. There we go. Low. Okay, now there's two rectifiers in here, and I believe we switch to the other one. I flip in this P1, P2 button and test this one. Just on the line.
Well, it doesn't really explain the popping sound in the radio, but the tube itself is showing really to be not in very good condition. So I think the, re the result of one of these being in not so good condition is uh, pro probably lower output voltage, uh, probably a greater voltage drop across the tube itself, within the tube more power being dissipated, uh, and probably maybe even in ultimately that's one way these things self-destruct. Uh, they just get so hot on their own. So weak rectifier. I think commonly you'd, you'd be changing these tubes every 10 years in a, in a radio that's in regular use. Maybe maybe even more often, maybe every five years. Something like that. But I don't think that's my problem. And, uh, there's another suspicious tube, that's the output tube. We'll take a look at that next. Okay, so this is the output tube. Now, what's suspicious about this is, uh, well, I'm, you know, this came out of my tube collection and it's got zero miles on it in, in my experience. Maybe it was bad. Uh, you know, it, I, it did play in the radio while I was on my bench quite a bit, come to think of it. Nothing happened. But let's test it anyway. So 6F6 to 6.3, 246. H 27345 27345 0610 0 34 34 F for the plate 830 is the uh, where we want to get to so somewhere somewhere like that in case you're wondering why I'm doing this in the dark, it's because if I change the lighting, you won't be able to see the, anything in the, in the screen here. So here we go. Now, if there's something wrong with this, the same thing. If it's got some big short inside it, we might see it in the flickering of the, of the light. The fact is that the main thing that changed uh, between the time the radio seemed to work fine and the time it exhibited this new problem was me moving the radio, putting the base back on it and all that kind of stuff. Tubes aren't so likely if you think about it that way. Okay, no shorts. Here we go, way up there. Just hold it for a minute. Of course, it seems just fine. Okay, well, we, we have eliminated those possibilities. The, uh, the rectifier was a, a little more likely, I think, uh, based on the way it sounded, the scary sound it made. Okay, but not these, so that means chassis, chassis must come out. That means speaker must come out. Oh. So for uh, for better or worse, I continue thinking about this and I asked myself uh, before I go through the trouble of taking this out, taking out the speaker, getting it all on my bench, maybe there's something I can figure out. What could that possibly be? Well, I thought, uh, well, maybe, maybe the speaker plug wasn't in all the way. This is normally locked in place with a screw, and I haven't bothered putting the screw in yet. So this, this thing, maybe this was a little loose in here. I don't think so, but maybe. But even more possible was the fact that I found the uh, socket for the output tube to be really uh, loose. It's not loose now. Yeah. That, that theory just kind of disappeared there. Perhaps it's just a loose tube in here, too. Could end up making some pretty big sounds. So, best thing I can do is try it as is. Perhaps what I've just finished doing, taking those tubes out, sticking it back in, maybe that's the end of the problem. Uh, from in here, too, I can also turn this on using uh, the uh, dim, dim light system. Okay, I 
think we're ready now. Just the door there. Okay. Uh, now, so I'm going to turn the power on uh, from my bench using the dim bulb system. So let's see. This is AM. Volumes down. No antenna ready. Uh, no antenna ready. Oh, yes, I do. It's right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Again, this is my loop antenna. Provide a strong noise-free signal. Or low noise, low interference signal. Hopefully. those dim lights. You know what? It's more interesting to watch the lights. Come watch these dim lights. <laughs> Just step carefully through here. There we are. Little dim lights. Okay, expectation is they come on and go down. That's good. They come on bright, bad. They come on and do the down thing, but go shoot, 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 and flashing. Very bad. Very bad. Of course, if the radio doesn't pop, I'm going to have a really bad feeling because I won't really know what happened. I'm going to leave these in the circuit. There should be enough power getting to the radio to make it operate. And uh, I would think whatever was popping uh, sure seemed happy to pop, so it would do it again, wouldn't it? Even if the radio's on a little bit of a lower voltage. Okay, now this is a little awkward here. Little tiny shop. Why don't we turn the volume up? three things. This not plugged in properly. Or one of these tubes. What else could it be? It could be lots of other things actually. <laughs> wow, okay, that's great. Uh, that's really great. I'm going to turn that radio around and get a better look at it. Well, I've got some visitors now. 
Come on, you gotta come in. Coming in? Come on. Dana, come on. You're gonna listen to a radio. No, okay. <laughs> okay, but we aren't alone. Shadow is here. Okay, back to trying this radio out now. It's time to get a look at it. Now, it's only got one light bulb in it, so it may not look all that good on the light. So this is still on AM, and we're ready to go. Here. Well, a little bit of light. If I had the other light going, this would look really quite nice. It really would. Looks like looks like the radio is off to the side a little bit. Oh, actually, guy coming on. We're popping and banging. This is on partial brightness. I haven't got full power on yet. It looks, it looks much brighter in the camera than it does in my eyeball. My eyeball, that looks dull. Tune my antenna here. And the Canada flu language dispute. This after a deadline was set for midnight tonight for the latest contract offers from the Crown Corporation. Retune the antenna again. Ainsi que le projet de l'Université française de l'Ontario était aboli. 
Les francophones de partout au pays continuent de réagir. C'est autour de la mairesse de Montréal, Valérie Plante, qui a étudié à North Bay et qui a écrit sur le réseau social Twitter ce matin que les services en français sont essentiels afin d'assurer respect et dignité à tous les citoyens et citoyennes de l'Ontario. Dans le nord-ouest de la province, Well, you know, that's working really well. Uh, I, think I'd, I think I'd like to give it a shot on short wave. Let's do that. Okay, so I switched over now to uh, short wave antenna. We're still on the uh, broadcast band, uh, which is compared to, to the loop antennas. Uh, my volume control is really slipping here. It's not very good at all, so there you go. It's going to pick up lots of noise. I'm sure of that. Very good. Okay, now we'll try uh, the different short wave bands. Uh, Spore bands. Band one. Let's turn this up a little bit. So I think I'm on six megahertz on, on this top band here. A little early in the evening for that to be. going, but then again, you can often get, I can often get uh, things from uh, Cuba. Not, not, not now, okay, so we'll, we'll next band. I think I'm on a 9 megahertz band. It's me working the tone.
15 megahertz. WWD there. Well, that's that's not bad. Uh, hey, let's try this. Uh, I'm on the wrong antenna, but let's carry on. AM. Pick one of these buttons. Hopefully this was going to tune in uh, stations, AM stations. Wow, these buttons are terrible. They have just loosened the slot here. Not a very nice arrangement. Well, that's a lousy antenna problem. Probably that's why we're not picking up stations and we can't uh, rely on that. Hey, you know what? I had this thing on uh, the uh, protective lights on the dim bulbs this whole time. I never actually had it up on full power. Stand back. We're, we're going to full power here. Um, but let's put something on here. Uh, so we'll pick the shortwave band. Let's pick this up. Uh, expecting is the radio to start popping. Here we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. It must have been the tubes or, or something like that. Just the tube contacts. Wonderful. That's great. Okay, so that's this radio done. And I also completed that guy there. And the owner of this radio, I was in communication with him today. And get it back. That's great. I gotta make space because more stuff is coming. Fantastic. Great. Well thanks so much for for watching and uh, look at that. An empty bench. Wow. Don't have that very often in here. See ya.